side that we're really all working together and we're learning and we're sharing with each other. Um, and there's no right or wrong or better or best way, right? We're all just learning and coping in these global challenges and struggles we have together. Um, so thank you for both of you for sharing so um, astutely about that. And I hope that um, our attendees here today as well will consider ways that they can get more involved within STAR. So I wanted, given that we are, this is a country director panel as well, I wanted to share a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, about our STAR scholar country directors. Um, and then I'll give Atib and he a chance to briefly share about um, any reflections or thoughts they have about their involvement. So certainly the annual conferences are really a preeminent way that we we you know have people get involved and, and share and, and build connections and bridges. Um, but our work continues throughout the year. And the work of the Star Scholars Network, our country directors really are the arms and feet and, and brain and all the different ways, um, really um, working in their local and national context, right? Because what I know sitting here in the US that maybe works well for me in my context probably does not work well for someone in any other context, right? And, and we're not trying to impart our way. We are truly a global organization. Um, so that's the work, the important work that the STAR um, country directors do. So our country directors lead chapters, um, kind of chapters, so to speak, of the STAR Scholars Network that engage with members to design local initiatives, right? Local initiatives, but that are working transnationally um, to support scholars and students. Um, so I'll let Atib and Heap in a minute share about, you know, um, any um, initiatives they've done. Our current countries where we have, um, where we have country directors, certainly you've heard from two of our best country directors, um, Atib in Bangladesh and Heap in um, Vietnam. But we also have country directors in China, Ghana, um, India, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, Nepal, Spain, and South Africa. So if you see your country represented up there, um, I encourage you to get in touch with the country directors. Um, I dropped the link in the, the, the streaming chat. Um, you can get in touch with your country director. Certainly there is room to grow. Don't feel like if, oh, well, I'm, I'm in Japan and I see that Yuriko is the country director, I don't have a, an opportunity, no. There are, the sky's the limit um, and collaboration is great. So I know in, for Vietnam, um, he works with another scholar um, in his role. So if you are located in a country where you, there is not a current country director, we encourage you to apply. If you're interested in serving, interested in serving as an ambassador, and also you have an, an idea for an initiative that aligns with the mission and vision of STAR. So as part of the application, you just share, you know, who you are, what you're doing, what's an idea you have. Um, and that doesn't have to be a massive thing. It could be building web resources related to, um, you know, research connections for STAR. It could be hosting a panel event at your institution. It could be working on a paper. It could be um, supporting local scholars. It really is what you are passionate about and what you have expertise that aligns with STAR. So I encourage you to check that out and to fill out an application. We are always accepting applications, um, so continue to think about it. So that is all that um, we had for today, but I wanted to, before we wrap up, um, I wanted to give Atib and Heap a chance to share about their experience as a, a country director 